world seems to to be divided uh, along geopolitical and geoeconomic lines and today we are looking at how this is actually uh, uh, bringing stagnation as far as uh, this global cooperation is concerned how can we analyze this and what are the stakes involved uh, thanks Clarice and, and um, thanks to Yulia for introducing the idea of sovereignty because unless an individual or a country or or you would say have the ability to analyze um, all the facts and then make a decision um, in their interest they're unable to uh, manifest sovereignty and 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 I believe in terms of the, the 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 nature of the cooperation that is required in order to manifest um, the world that most of the humans want which is a huge which is a world um, that we share the resources and we enjoy each individual has the right to aspire to improve himself to acquire through his his talent his his, his, his freedoms um, to expand himself and have that opportunity to do so so what i do believe is that in order to create this reality we have to in in just following up from what yuli has said is that um the blockchain um, in terms of governance structure is required. And what that has is that it has, every node is equal, right? They have the same amount of votes, right? And, 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 and secondly, um, every node knows what the other nodes know. And each individual node come together through a consensus mechanism to verify and validate the information that is presented to them. And then through that mechanism, make a decision in their interest accordingly through agreement not through coercion not through control and the the the, the two realities that we see emerging that you, you you've mentioned in, in your question is that we have a, a, the concept of globalization on one hand in which you have you know the davos elite who decide um the rules what the rules for the rest of the world and all the world should be and as Yulia is saying, these people are not living in any particular country because their power is offshore. And, and we're talking about people like George Soros, and we're talking about um, elites who created these ideas of the grand chessboard of Brzezinski, who wanted to chop up the, 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 the globe in spheres of influence and understood that if you controlled certain spheres of influence geopolitically, you would then have the advantage to control the world through geopolitical through trade through you know trade agreements and, and economic you know inter integration and the economic integration that we've seen in the topology of globalization what that has created is a global elite as what putin says that the moment a president gets elected he's visited by men in black suits with a suitcase and these are the bureaucrats these bureaucrats have been around and Kennedy talked about them in his speech, and this is why Kennedy was assassinated, because he said the idea of freedom and secrecy are antithetical. And so when you create an entity like the CIA, like the military industrial complex that is able to grow and to control extraordinary amounts of money in the budget, they can then go around the world in, in, and subterfuge and sabotage you know, the ambitions of sovereign states. And that is what we've seen in the 1960s with, you know, you know, Patrice Lumumba, Kwame Kroma, those, you know, African leaders that really wanted to have sovereignty and to express and to manifest the ambitions of the citizens of these countries. And so what we're seeing is the emergence of independent states. So the people have cried for this in the form of Brexit. And the, they, they rejected the, the bureaucracy and the control mechanism of Brussels, who wanted to make every European country the same, every country as a McDonald's, every country as a Burger King, and what it means is liberty and freedom. Every country, you know, it takes on this extraordinary, like crazy ideas of um, changing your sex, changing your identity, no longer male or female. In other words, destroying the very foundation of what it is to be human. And, and, and the people have rebelled in, in the form of um, Donald Trump. And Trump came to office, and of course, he shook, you know, the apple cart, and everything started to fall apart. And this bureaucracy that has been hidden is now manifesting itself in the, in the face of the population to see. And of course, they can call them the global cabal. You can call them, 
you know, the bankers or whatever you want to call them. But these individuals, they command extraordinary power through the economic and financial systems. And we're talking about Davos in particular, Klaus Schwab types of individuals. So this battle that we're seeing for freedom, the ability to govern your own self sovereignly and to control your own resources of your own country so that the people of your country can then um, enjoy the wealth and, and the abundance of, of, of the earth together as, as one. And, and the people are rebelling against it in the form of the BRICS. And we'll talk about this in, in, in my next um, in a con part of my conversation, but it's, it's really about cooperation in sovereignty, not in oppression. Afrique Média, le monde, c'est nous.